Hey everyone, it's Erin from WellPlated.com. Where are my chocolate lovers? I have the breakfast recipe for you. This is my super moist, fluffy, double chocolate banana bread. Not only does it have chocolate two different ways, I use a secret ingredient to make it taste even more chocolatey. If you are a fan of recipes with chocolate, you gotta find out what this is. This banana bread is so easy, you don't even need a mixer, and this is a healthy chocolate banana bread, low calorie, thanks to a couple of sneaky swaps. All right, I'm ready for some chocolate, so let's get started. This recipe uses two kinds of flour. First up, the classic all-purpose flour. It is critical to measure your flour correctly. Here's my shortcut approach. Take your measuring cup and fluff up the flour to lighten it. And once it is fluffed, just use your finger to level it off. Easy peasy. For even more accuracy, you can use a kitchen scale. I've linked to my favorite in the notes below. Now, our second kind of flour. This is white whole wheat flour. It is 100% whole grain and adds extra nutrition. All right, now for the good stuff, unsweetened cocoa powder. This puts the chocolate and chocolate banana bread. I use more than most recipes here because I like it extra chocolatey. Next, we add our baking powder and baking soda. Those will make our bread light and fluffy and help it rise. A touch of cinnamon, it makes this recipe special, gives it a little something something. And kosher salt, necessary whenever you are cooking and baking. It makes the bread not too sweet and helps the other flavors pop. Now, are you ready for this? This is the ingredient of all ingredients when you like to cook with chocolate, instant espresso powder. Woo, delish. Now, it won't make your bread taste like coffee. Rather, it makes the chocolate flavor even more intense, and how can that be a bad thing? If you like to bake in with chocolate, you need this in your pantry. Whisk the dry ingredients together. Don't even bother sifting that cocoa powder. I don't. I just whisk it up really thoroughly. Now it is time for the wet ingredients. Grab a clean bowl, and it's time for the star of the show, other than the chocolate, of course, bananas. Chocolate banana bread is one of the most delicious ways to use up those ripe bananas I know you have sitting on your counter. The riper and spottier, the better. Confession, I love this easy banana bread so much, sometimes I buy extra bananas just so they'll turn brown and I have an excuse to make it. If your bananas aren't quite ripe yet, no worries, pop them into a brown paper bag and that will speed up the ripening, which I could use a little speed right now. Whenever you are baking with bananas, it's super important to measure after you mash them, so I'm gonna wait till I'm finished with this and then put them into my measuring cup. I love bananas whenever I am creating more low calorie breads like this one because they make the banana bread naturally moist and sweet all on their own. Now, don't worry if this isn't perfect. As long as it's pretty mashed, that is good enough. Time to measure it up. So I'm scooping out the one cup that I need for this recipe. The rest I'll save for another time. They're great for smoothies or hey, I might even need another loaf of this bread. Next up, our coconut oil. You also can use canola oil or a light olive oil. Now, honey. This chocolate banana bread has no sugar. In fact, it is sweetened completely naturally with delicious honey. If you like, you can swap the honey for pure maple syrup. Here's a quick tip. Use the same measuring cup you did for the oil. The oil will coat the cup so that the honey slides right out. Easy peasy. Next, two thirds non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Many recipes are for chocolate banana bread with sour cream, but I use yogurt. It makes the bread just as moist as sour cream, but since Greek yogurt is light, it will make this a more low calorie banana bread. Don't worry, no one will know. Adding our eggs now. I know people say that you're supposed to be cracking the eggs in a separate bowl and then pouring them in, but you know what? I hate dishes, so I just live risky and put it right in. Am I really gonna have to clean this up? Last, our vanilla extract. Is it really baking recipe without vanilla extract? Not in my world. It's two teaspoons, but if you go a little over, 
I won't tell. Grab your whisk, I'm using the same one I did for the dry ingredients, and then stir it all together. I love this smaller size whisk. It is super handy and causes less splashing. I'll link to it below. Don't worry if it's a little lumpy. Perfection is not the goal here. All right, bringing it all together. Our wet ingredients go into the center of our dry ingredients. And then by hand with a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon will work, slowly and gently stir it together. The mixture will look a little dry at first, but before you know it, you will have a thick, luscious batter that smells like a pan of brownies. Now, here we go. What makes it double chocolate banana bread? Chocolate chips, of course. I'm using dark chocolate, you can use semi-sweet chocolate, or if you'd like a chocolate banana bread without chocolate chips, you can omit them. I mean, I don't know why you would, but you can. You also could swap in peanut butter chips or white chocolate chips. It is taking all my self-control not to stick a spoon right into this batter. All right, time to put it into the pan. I've lined the pan with parchment paper, and then I secured the parchment paper with binder clips. This is one of my favorite tricks. As you know, if you've ever tried to spread out a super thick batter like this one, the parchment paper can slide all over the place. The binder clips hold it in place. Trust me, it's going to make your baking so much easier. Smooth that top. And then, I mean, more chocolate, obviously. You knew I was gonna do this, guys. Sprinkle it over the top as decoratively as you like. And then, you know, for good measure, yes, add more. I am loving my life right now. Remove those clips and let's pop it into the oven. We bake our chocolate banana bread at 325 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. The best way to tell when your banana bread is done is to insert a thin knife in the center and see if it comes out clean. This is much more accurate for moist banana breads than a toothpick. An even sure way to tell is to use an instant read thermometer. When the bread hits between 195 and 200, it is done. Oh, would you look at this? I can just see all of the chocolate chips that are studded throughout this. Oh, I cannot wait to take a bite. It's gonna be messy and it's gonna be good. Mmm. Do you like how I took a bite from the top where all of the extra chocolate chips are? Oh my goodness. This is so decadent and fudgy. I cannot believe that it is made with Greek yogurt and whole wheat flour. This seriously healthy? This does not taste like a sacrifice. I would feel like such a queen any morning that I came downstairs and saw this chocolate banana bread for breakfast but there is no way I'd be able to resist it for just the morning. This is perfect for healthy snacks. I'm really loving it right now warm out of the oven, but I can only imagine how fantastic it's going to be warmed up. Maybe spread with a little peanut butter. You know what I'm saying. Chocolate, peanut butter, banana. That just might be the trifecta of all time. Now, this banana bread is super freezer friendly, so what you can do is cut it into slices and then I like to individually wrap them and store them in the freezer. And then that way you can just pull out a slice of chocolate banana bread on demand. It's pretty awesome living when you are able to do that. I'm not gonna lie though, in our household, this barely lasts a couple of days. You can store it in your refrigerator or my other favorite way to store muffins and quick breads, especially when they have banana, is to line your Tupperware container with paper towels that will keep your banana bread nice and moist, but it won't get soggy. I've eaten dozens and dozens and dozens of loaves of banana bread throughout my time. I will link to a couple of my favorite classics in the video notes, but really more than anything, when you want some chocolate, this chocolate banana bread is where it's at. So I'm gonna take a few more bites, maybe grab myself a cup of coffee, or really, this is so chocolatey, I could use a glass of milk. Mm. 
If you like the look of this recipe, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe below for even more tasty, easy meals.